My name is Ferdrin Belvane, and I am an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood. I believe the secret to a long and successful life in this line of work is learning to hide in plain sight. Find yourself a cover that explains long, unexpected absences. I found that the role of a travelling merchant works wonders. When my suppliers ask why I haven't been around for months, I simply tell them the roads aren't safe. Between dragons, a civil war, and the usual bandit raids, nobody questions it. Some wonder how we know when the Black Sacrament has been performed without the Night Mother to tell us. It's simple, really. Rumours travel far and fast. Take this boy in Windhelm, Aventa Sarantino. You'd be surprised how quickly word of his... activities travelled across Skyrim. These Nords have nothing better to do during their winters than talk. And once those rumours reached our ears, we were happy to oblige his request. But it would seem I'm not the first to pay a visit to the Arantino boy. If this outsider is bold enough to take on our contract, I'm sure Astrid will have some fun with him. Perhaps it's for the best. This wasn't the only rumor I was sent to investigate. Then it's true, what everyone is saying. That Aventus Arantino is doing the Black Sacrament? Trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, Grimbar. Always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. Those are just tales. Fine, then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child, wait! That boy, that house, they are cursed. Ha, then I'm right, I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right, I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true, but Aventus Oratino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. Maybe he should find some friends his own age? I try to keep Grimvar safe, but these are dangerous times. What did you say about a cursed child? Hmm, yes. It is quite sad. A young boy, Aventus Aretino, lost his mother recently and was sent to an orphanage. But he has returned home and people have heard strange chanting. They say it's the Black Sacrament, the ritual to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Why a little boy would want to contact a group of murderers is beyond me, but he is inviting evil into this city. All right then. You mind if I talk to him? The Dark Brotherhood sent people after me before, so maybe this is my ticket to finding them. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Grow on, you old crone! You'll get what you deserve. The Dark Brotherhood will see to that. So, very tired. Please, how long must I do this? I keep praying, Night Mother. Why won't you answer me? Sweet Mother, sweet Mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Finally! My prayers have been answered! Oh, are you... all right? It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the things, and then you came, an assassin from the Dark Brotherhood. Nope, no, 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 I did not say that. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm not who you think I am. Of course you are. I prayed, and you came, and now you'll accept my contract. Contract? My mother, she, she died. I, I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften, Honor Hall. The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the kind, but she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us. 
So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here and you could kill Grelob the Kind! Uh... I'm not... really... an assassin. Sorry. To be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall, I really miss my friends there. Is that your mother or just Grelod another is the headmistress of skeleton? Honor Hall orphanage, but not for long. Yeah, no, I wouldn't necessarily count on that. Tell me about your mother. What happened? She got sick last winter when the snows came, and she just. she never got better. Not all year. One night, she fell asleep and never woke up. So now I'm all alone, and the Jarl said I have to go into Honor Hall Orphanage. It's not fair! All I'm saying is, why can't you just become like a, a ward of the, uh, the hold? Wouldn't the house pass on to him anyway? Are you sure about this boy murdering this woman? I've never been more sure about anything in my entire life. Someone like Broa doesn't deserve to live one more day. She's a monster! You know, I've never really been to the Honor Hall Orphanage. Please hurry. To be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall, I really miss my friends there. Never been to Honor Hall? I've heard of it briefly before, but that's about it. Oh, here's a letter from the steward. Master Aventus Aretino, Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak wishes to express his deepest sympathies at the death of your mother, Nalia. Unfortunately, because you are fatherless and have no other known relations, the Jarl cannot allow you to remain in your home unsupervised. Therefore, in no more than a week's time, you are to report to Honor Hall Orphanage in Riften, where you will reside until your 16th birthday. The Aretino family home in the city of Windhelm will, of course, remain your property. The building will be securely locked and ready for your return six years hence. Note that I'm unsure of the education provided to you by your recently deceased mother, or if you possess the ability to read the letter I'm currently composing. Therefore, a member of the city guard will call upon you in one week at your home and provide escort to the orphanage. Hopefully his arrival will not come as a complete shock. With greatest respect, your relief steward to our most noble Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak. Can he read? Did he read? I think he figured it out. I think he was able to figure that one out. He would have had to read how to perform the Black Sacrament, right? How else would he have figured it out? I didn't have any plans to go back to Riften just yet. I guess next time I'm there I can look into it at least. Let me get back to the inn. I left Lucy in there to get a drink and um, maybe we'll talk to him about this. Maybe we'll see if he has anything to add to all this. Welcome. Oh, let me know if you want anything. I think I've got a clean mug around here somewhere. Lucian's fairly knowledgeable. He'll what know something about the Dark Brotherhood, right? How are you doing, my friend? I'm pretty good. Follow me. Right you are. Do you have anything you can say about the Dark Brotherhood? Probably not. My wisdom is yours to siphon as you will. We do need to train you some more. It's been a while since you've had a nice training session, so we'll get to that soon. Bye for now. Probably just uh, rest here for the night before we set out, but there's a couple things to do. I have the ancient Falmer Tome that I need to bring to Urag, but I also needed to get him a copy of Nagasta Kavada Kavakis. Wait, when did I get the bounty for Trevor's watch? That must have been ages ago. I need to find the thief in East March to retrieve Dagger's stolen emerald ring. Yeah. All these jobs that I took a long time ago that I haven't gotten to yet, I still need to help someone in Hyal March. Not really sure who. Frost salts to Dravnia. I think I might have some frost salts. Either way, we're gonna find a copy of Nagasta Kavada Kavakis. That way we have a couple different things to bring to Urok. 
Let me just grab a bed for the evening. I could use a rest. Now, if anyone sees a thief who looks like they might have uh, someone's stolen gold, emerald, ring, necklace, whatever it is, let me know. You know, I'll check the inn before we leave. I'll check the inn here in Kynesgrove before we go anywhere else. Also, Mazincha left, Mazincha left. I know I've been there before, I'm just trying to remember where it is and what hold it was in. Was that Riften? Was that the Rift? It's hard to keep some of these dwarven ruins straight sometimes. The mine's always on the verge of collapse. Good thing I'm around to keep it up. Like, magically, or are you the one building all the support beams? Morrowind used to be a lovely place, but you couldn't pay me to live there these days. I have the frost salts that you asked for. Honestly, in the time that I've been gone, you could have gotten a lot of other people to get this for you. Well, well. You actually did what you said you were going to do. I'm impressed. Here, let me teach you a thing or two about alteration magic. It's the least I can do. I do love alteration magic. 87, Be careful. wow. These are dangerous times. Yeah, well, you know, it's a little safer now that I've raised my alteration yet again. Yeah, I'll talk to Tolftir when we get back to the college, because I could really, really go for some more spells. I think he'd be able to give me some, um, uh, some new spell tomes at this point, too. Now, let's just check the inn on the off chance that the thief came here. Because they're somewhere in Eastmarch, and I didn't see them in Candlehearth Hall. Granted, I also didn't go upstairs, I just stayed downstairs and slept for the night. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Have you seen any thieves around? I'm looking for one. Well, so far I see nothing. I hear nothing. So they might have gone on their way already. Oh, wait a second. Is the night gate in? Also in East March, I think it is. Someone needs to draw all the borders for the holds on my map because I can never keep them straight. So we might have to check there. Let me take a look at the map real fast. Yeah, Nightgate Inn is there. Mazincha left. Oh no, wait a second. Okay, I vaguely remember Mazincha left now. However, we also have the Great Lift unlocked, so getting back in there should be pretty straightforward, should be pretty easy. Alright, from here, Nightgate in, check for a thief. Mazincha left, and then we can cut through Dawnstar and head to Winterhold and finally turn in all the books. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. You see any, uh, thieves around here? Just wondering. So far, I've not seen any. They're probably just wandering the streets. They probably didn't want to stay at any inn. It'd be a little bit too much of a, uh, target. Need a room? Or maybe just some mead? I can ask him for work. I have enough work ahead of me right now, so... Maybe another time. Anything you need, just holler. Let me go speak with this man real fast just to see if there's anything going on with him. Although I believe I've spoken to him before and he didn't have anything the to say. The beds and beer are both lousy, you ask me. Oh, thanks for the warning. Hadring got himself another customer, eh? Do you come here a lot? Okay, we have spoken before. You see any other inns around here? Where else would I go to drink? Alright, well, sorry I asked. Sure, walk away. I wasn't talking or anything. We got to a natural end of our conversation. We had reached a natural conclusion, a natural pause 
in our discussion. Lucian, just don't talk to him. Just stay away. He's not much of a people person. I like how he says it's the only in around. Honestly, just keep walking that way. Just get back to, um, to Windhelm. The bed and the ale is lousy? Alright, yeah. There's an inn in Windhelm, there's an inn in Kynesgrove. If anything, I think there's more inns in Eastmarch than in most other holds. Oh, wait. Whiterun Hold has three as well, because Whiterun Hold has the Drunken Huntsman, the Bannered Mayor, and the one in Rorikstead. So it's tied with Whiterun, which still uh, pretty good. All things considered. Leave now, or else. Well, we haven't been to Mazinch left in a while, so go figure the Somewhere. bandits moved Over back here. in. Oh, sure. my horse decided to fight. My horse decided to join the fray, and I had to very quickly course correct my shout. Pay for this. Uh, to make sure that I didn't wind up with some roast horse hunch. Sorry, I suppose you'd like to sit down and work this out over. Lucian was speaking, but I also just noticed that there is a um, location in the distance to the west. Is it something that I have on my map? No. There is something new to the west, and now I'm curious. Now I want to know what it is. Lucian, here's the question. Do we go explore that now, or do we come back later after going to the college? We're here now, so maybe now would be the right time. Hey, I just cleaned this armor. I just got this armor back after wearing the Dawnguard armor. Could you not, you know, shoot arrows into it? I know some adventurers say that the uh, the dents and dings and scratches build character. No, I want mine to look a little bit more pristine. So the less dense, the better. I'm hoping that whatever he just put in it buffs out, but I guess we'll see. Oh. I thought the gate was going to be up here. That's my bad. Because the great lift at Mazincha left. Oh, is it in that direction? Hold on. It is. Okay. Sorry, I went the wrong way. I didn't have to come through here and kill everyone. I probably would have had to somehow in the end, but... We're just front-loading it now. We're front-loading all the, um, the bandit killing up front. I do remember the lift at Mazinch left, though. This is the one that I found because it was right off the main road. So I think I found this before I even found Mazinch left proper. Wait. That's why Mazinch left sounded so familiar. It's back in Blackreach. Oh. Oh no. I might not want to be here. This might not be the way that I wanted to go then. Because the problem is with Black reaching all the great lifts and everything through there, you never really know where what you're looking for is going to be. For all I know, the book is going to be at the very entrance to Mazincha Left, and now I'm at the very, very end of Mazincha Left. Really, it just happens to be a whole guessing game. And, yup. We went the wrong way because we can't get up there because I didn't have... the, um... the Dwarven Sphere. The Sphere, right? Not the Lexicon, but the Attunement Sphere. I told you we had to kill all those bandits. See, I was right. This is one of those situations where I'm both right and wrong, because I just said a lot of different things. I said, oh, I'm gonna have to kill those the bandits anyway, which turned out to be right. And now then I said, oh, yes. I'll go through here in order to get to the end faster, to get to the book faster, and that was wrong. 
But that's the trick. If you just say a bunch of <laughs> conflicting things, at least one of them will be right, and you can still take credit for that and say, Oh, I was right, see? Just ignore everything else that I said. Sorry. Ah, uh, don't In be Syria sorry. Deal, we respect each other's personal space. Which one is it, Lucian? You're sorry, or it's my fault for uh, not respecting your personal space? You gotta choose one. You gotta pick just one. Well, we really went in a roundabout way of doing this, but we made it back to Mazinchleft. I might as well go ahead and lower the uh, the gate, lower the gate into Blackreach, just in case we have this issue again. Keep an eye out, because if there's bandits outside, there's going to be bandits inside, too. I would assume, at least. I'd be surprised if they didn't come back in here, but decided, yeah, let's hang out outside in the cold, in the snow, now in the rain, surprise. in the elements. <laughs> See, I was right. This time I only said one thing, so I didn't have to contradict myself what was that? in order to be right. Thought I heard something. Die, you bastard! You know, he really just missed with a bow at a very, very short range. It's probably harder to hit me at that close of a range, but still little embarrassing on his part. Oh! Hello, fellow mage. Goodbye, fellow mage. Should've gone to the college. You chose a life of banditry, you should've just gone to the college. This'll be fun. You're right. That was fun. Well, we haven't found the book yet, so go figure we have to go deeper. <sighs> Do you mind? All right, we, we go over this every time. Must I we push like that? stopped walking. I am in the lead. If I stop walking, just, you know, maybe don't walk into me. Because what you do, Lucian, is you step on the back of my boots, and honestly, it's a whole thing because then I have to kind of like shift around in my boots. I have to adjust them because now they're starting to slip off a little bit. It's very uncomfortable. It bunches up a little bit. So really, I'm the one who should be saying, do you mind? Because now my boots are all bunched up and fighting Falmer in that... Not fun. Where... Is... The book? It looks like it's on the other side of this wall. I didn't know there was anything on the other side of this wall. Is there? I sure hope so, if that's where we have to go. Once we get to a little bit of a uh, safer spot, I'll go ahead and level up, but I don't think I really need to save it. I don't think I need to worry about saving it for the healing benefits anymore. Between my healing potions and my healing magic, I think I should be good for a long time, if not for uh, forever at this point. I was kind of hoping it would make more of an explosion sound, but... It got the job done, so I can't really complain. I think we're nearly there. I don't know if we're gonna have to go further down into the gatehouse in order to unlock the path down to Blackreach. <sighs> but we've already come this far. When am I really gonna go through all of Mazinch left again? <laughs> So I really might as well do it today. We really might as well do that Ow. while we're here. Enemy defeated. Go us. Oh, uh, Lucian. Oh, it was just in your backpack. Nope, that one's in your knee. Shin? That was in your shin. I always hear about adventuring careers ruined by arrows to the knee. Shin, I feel like you can recover from that. A little bit better. By comparison. So fortunately, Lucian's adventuring days are still ahead of him. This won't slow him down. Nagasta Kavada Kavakis. I don't believe I've read it before. It feels like a Dunmer book, right? In my mind, it sure sounds like one. No, never mind. An obscure text in the language of the Slowed. Reportedly written by the Second Era Western Necromancer, Nagasta. Oh, yeah. See, it's Nagasta of Nagasta Kavada Kavakis. Of course. How silly of me. 
So now we just need... Well, that's going to be the gatehouse, yeah. So we just need to go in there, need to lower that, and then we can get out of here pretty quickly. Alright, well that's all set, but here's the other thing. There's a great lift through there, but then there's also the lift back here. Because this is how we left the first time we came through here. Ah, excuse me. Could have sworn we would have opened that. Maybe the Falmer came up to lift and relocked so that we couldn't get out of here? Who knows? Alteration 89? I thought I was at... Oh, I did reach 88. No. For some reason, I thought I was already at 90. Nope. Not quite yet. So we still have this one location dead ahead. It's right here. We're right here. I want to find it. I just want to discover it. Is this going to be... Another Stormcloak camp? Sure looks like it. So what's your story? I'm a true Nord. Simple it is. That. We'll leave them be for right now. There haven't been any Stormcloak raids, there haven't been any attacks on the nearby cities lately, so... If they're not bothering anyone for now, I'm just gonna leave them be. Which means we can head to the college. We have so many books for Urag. I think that's five total. Four Falmer Tomes and Nagasta Kavada Kavakis, which I have now learned is about the Slode. See, you learn something new every day.